Hello, and welcome to another ADLC digital lesson. Today, our lesson is on rack and pinion gears. This is an interesting device. It is used to remove the corks from wine bottles. As a person pulls down on the handle, it drives a corkscrew into the bottle. Its operation depends on a gear arrangement that turns the circular motion of the handle into the straight line motion of the corkscrew. So how exactly does this work? The secret to this device and many other devices is a rack and pinion gear. The rack and pinion both have gear teeth, but as you can see, the pinion is a circle and the rack is a straight line. Operating a rack and pinion is simple. You can turn the pinion by any means, such as this crank. As the crank turns, the pinion turns, and this makes the rack move back and forth. The rack and pinion is an ideal gear arrangement for whenever you want to turn circular motion into straight line motion, and vice versa. And by changing the size of the pinion, you can also easily control how fast the rack moves back and forth. By using a smaller pinion, the rack moves less for every turn of the pinion. A very popular application of the rack and pinion is car steering. If you can imagine tires on the end of the rack and a steering wheel attached to the pinion, you can understand how the turning of the steering wheel can make the wheels of a car turn together to the left or the right. 